Hey guys, welcome to the Pronunciation Channel. My name is uh, Mike Tannen. Today I'm going to talk about an important topic for people that are applying for work. Often what you do is you send your resume to a company and they'll give you a call and uh, they'll try to set up an interview with you. Um, one problem that people sometimes have is that their intonation will not sound enthusiastic enough because their intonation is maybe different than their native language. So they may sound bored to um, the manager. So that means you're not gonna get the job, okay? So let me give you um, an example. So let's say that you sent your resume to um, ABC Company, okay? So um, I'll show you how you should sound and how you shouldn't sound, okay? So I'll be two people, so when I'm uh, the person applying for the job, I've got the hat, and the manager doesn't have the hat, okay? So, okay, so I'm just at home, relaxing, blah, 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 then I get a call, bring, hello. Hello, uh, could I speak to uh, Mark, please? So what you should say is, speaking, okay? With that kind of enthusiastic intonation. Don't say, speaking, because if you say speaking, right away the manager's gonna think you're not interested in the job, okay? So, here's the manager again. So the manager says, hi Mark, my name is uh, Tom. I'm from ABC Company, you sent me a resume. So, good way for you to do it is, oh yes. Don't say, oh yes. If you got flat intonation like that, that will mean that the person will think you're not interested. Uh, so the manager says, uh, can you come in for an interview tomorrow? So you should say, sure. Okay, with that kind of rising kind of intonation in order to sound like you're enthusiastic. Don't say, sure. And the manager says, uh, how about at uh, 3.30? So what you should say is, uh, sure, that's fine. Not, sure, that's fine. With that kind of flat intonation, you don't sound interested in the job, okay? And the manager asks, uh, do you know our address? You should say, um, no, I don't. Don't say, no, I don't. And the manager says, Okay, it's uh, 1940 Lawrence Avenue East. So you can say, to repeat, that you know the address, uh, 1940 Lawrence Avenue East. Oh, and then, sorry. And then the, you can ask, is that a Lawrence and Birchmount? And don't ask, is that a Lawrence and Birchmount? And uh, the manager says, uh, yes, it is. Sorry, I dropped my hat. Uh, so the, then you'd say, uh, okay, great. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't say, okay, great. I'll see you tomorrow. And the manager says, see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Okay, so you get the idea you should have that kind of rising kind of intonation. So let's go over some of the things that you as a job applicant uh, might say in an enthusiastic way. So the manager calls you and say, okay, are you Joe Blow? And you go, speaking, not speaking, okay? And they ask you, are you available to come in? How about if you say, oh yes. Does that sound enthusiastic? Definitely not. You don't sound enthusiastic enough at all. Okay? You should say, oh, yes. Okay? And they ask you, can you come in tomorrow? Okay? Uh, sure. Does that sound enthusiastic? Yeah, that sounds enthusiastic. Okay? They suggest a time. Sure, that's fine. That doesn't sound enthusiastic. Okay? Sure, that's fine. That's better. They ask you if you know the address. No, I don't. 
that sounds enthusiastic. Okay, so remember that uh, when you're trying to sound enthusiastic for reasons like you're applying for a job, uh, don't use very flat intonation because that would make English speakers think that you're bored and you don't want to sound like you're bored when you're trying to set up a, a job interview. Okay, so keep practicing and if you like my uh, videos, please consider subscribing by hitting the, uh, the button below. Okay, stay well. Bye.